Hey team, how are you doing? It's uh, Gavin here from Start Fresh Personal Training and uh, the Shift Worker Fit Master Plan Series. Okay, so <clears throat> this is going to be, I'm going to close that down just a little bit, is how to, uh, st- or seven tips for staying healthy while working shifts. So those of you who may have seen one or two of my other videos, I've been a shift worker for 17 years um, and I have lost uh, all my weight, basically 20 kilograms. And I've done that and kept it off for seven years. <clears throat> so. I'm going to share with you some of the, the, the some seven tips that uh, you can take on board. You can put into practice straight away, basically, uh, to, to obviously help you be healthier. Because when you work shifts, especially night shifts, um, even when ro- uh, rotating shifts like me, which is early, late at night, uh, your body gets smashed around left to right, up and down, and um, you know it's really hard to stay healthy. So these are some of the things that I do on a regular basis that have kept me healthy, kept me slim, uh, allow me to train in the gym, um, and you know basically. You know, I've, I've lost my weight. I'm fitter than um, you know some day day shift workers, um, and I can overcome everything uh, just by doing these things. Basically, uh, not not too not too much. Anyway, moving forward, number one, sleep like a baby. So there's a little memory at the top there. So those of you that have a baby will absolutely understand that memory. People who say they sleep like a baby don't have one. Now. You always say you sleep like a baby when you sleep well. So what babies do, and uh, what I recommend you do, is sleep like a baby, which means that babies nap. Baby will have a four-hour sleep. They'll have a four-hour sleep later on. So what I'm saying is, is that try and get eight hours of sleep per day. It's really important. Ten if you can. Um, I have found ten to be a real sweet spot for me. And um, but I don't always do it in one continuous sort of um, you know run either. So what I found was is having having naps, having sleeps really makes a difference. And when certainly on night shift, the sooner I can wake up to the start of my shift, the better I feel on a night shift. So I might sometimes I'll get into bed at seven thirty, eight o'clock. I'll sleep till eleven or twelve. I just can't get back to sleep. But what I do then? I try and go back to bed in the afternoon. So I get up and go back to bed at four or five o'clock, and I sleep till eight or seven, whatever it is for me. Um, and I, I feel tons better. So I could sleep till one o'clock or two o'clock. And then I might go back to bed for two hours in the afternoon just to get my eight hours. So once you sleep like a baby, have these really quality power naps. Um, and you find you feel a million times better. If you're trying to, to, to muscle through uh, after five or six hours sleep for a night shift, you're going to really struggle. Um, you know, Maybe you might get through two or three o'clock in the morning on a late shift and it's all good. But you're going to really, really struggle. So my uh, recommendation is sleep like a baby. Get eight to ten hours in. Do it in, the, in one or two different blocks if you can. Tip number one. And exercise before work. Exercise massive, guys. You really need to exercise, okay? And as a personal trainer, uh, and somebody that exercises five times a week, uh, Monday to Friday, regardless of my shifts, you know, it's absolutely doable. But you need to have some rules in place. You need to basically exercise before work. And the reason why I say before work is usually easier. So if you're on an early shift, get up, get up early and go to the gym. Uh, because if you leave it till the end of the shift, the end of five, six o'clock at night, you're not going to get there. You're just not going to be able to manage it. But what I find is if I train before work, I have a, a continuous routine. So if I do my early shift, I'll train before work. If I'm a late shift, I'll train before work. And if I'm a night shift, I'll train before work. So I obviously train at different times of the day. But what I find is that exercising before work helps me stay alert. Um, I'm ready to tackle my shift without um, you know, going in and feeling tired. You look around the room sometimes, you see everyone looking ex- exhausted, but I, I don't feel like that at the beginning of the shift because I've exercised. And exercise is a natural stimulant. Um, it's going to carry you for a few hours. You're going to feel really, really good. So exercise before work, uh, really, really important. Okay, don't leave your nutrition to chance, okay? Big, big one. If you work um, night shift or shift, it's really easy to nip to the um, you know, the takeaway or the drive through because, you know, maybe at 2 o'clock in the morning, the only thing that's open is a McDonald's or a BK or Carl's Jr. or whatever it is. But don't leave it to chance because if you're eating crappy food, you're gonna have a, you're gonna feel crappy as well. So you need to eat food that's gonna help you with uh, shift work, and that's gonna be literally, you know, having some quality proteins, you know, lean fish, meat, chicken, beef, whatever it is for you. Uh, some quality carbohydrates and complex carbohydrates to basically, um, you know, keep your uh, sugar levels high and constant. Gonna uh, uh, gonna lend themselves if you're not wanting to snack uh, on those high calorie foods um some vegetables some fibers and vitamins nutrients minerals everything that you need to get through the shift um and don't leave the chance you need to prepare your stuff you need to come 
basically come through it all, prepare your meals. It doesn't have to be complicated. They just need to be prepared. Because when you prepare your meals, you know what's in them, and you know then you're not leaving any to chance. If you're somebody that's on the road a lot, then simply you know pack things that are easy to eat: protein shakes, sandwiches, uh, things you can eat on the run, and it doesn't take long to eat. But need, don't leave it to chance. Number four: be a time lord. Okay, now I don't want you to travel back in time, but what I want you to do is become a kind of a time leader, or a cool, cool phrase. A time leader just means that instead of being like um, you know. You know, you managing your time around everything that's busy. Uh, managers, you know, in my mind, you know, a scat either all over the shop. You're trying to manage and put fires. If you kind of lead it from the front and plan your day, plan your workouts, plan your when you're going to start your nutrition, um, or when you're going to prepare your meals, plan when you're going to work out, plan when you're going to sleep. If you have a little bit of planning around your life, things become so much easier. And that was a game changer for me when I started preparing my meals um, before an early, two early shifts. The day on my day off, I prepare a bunch of meals, four or five meals for the week, and my lunches were all done. They were in the freezer. Um, my snacks they were easy; I could grab. They were nuts. They were protein powders. They were um, this, the fruit, all the good stuff that's easy to grab, easy to prepare, easy to put. Um, you know, on the run, eat, eat on the run. So when you're preparing your meals as well, have them. You know, make a couple of sandwiches up front if you need to. Um, I I just freeze meals sometimes, um, you know, and have a, a solid meal, ch um, whether it be uh, chicken, potatoes, and I don't know, but, uh, and some veggies, whatever it is, doesn't really matter. Um, but I absolutely control that portion of it. I never leave it a chance. So it'll be a bit of a time lord there. Um, lead your time, don't manage it. Okay, you're gonna, it's not going to work otherwise. Um, and the five-hour caffeine rule. So um, need to. I, I absolutely love coffee. I drink loads of it. But what I've learned is that if I drink coffee four or five hours before I go to bed, um, I end up A, going to the toilet all the time, and really unsettled sleep. Because what happens is caffeine will stay in your brain. And it'll kind of like um, keep you stimulated. Even when you go to sleep, your brain is still kind of active. And you always feel really tired, even when you wake up after you've had a good, a good, good amount of sleep. So if what I tend to find is that if I'm on a night shift, um, four o'clock or three o'clock would be the latest I have a coffee. I'll muck through those four or five hours at the end, um, drinking just water essentially, uh, because I know that if I, in the past when I've had coffees at five, six o'clock to get me through, I have a dreadful sleep and then it just cascades, I have a terrible couple of shifts. So five hour caffeine, don't drink coffee five hours before you go to bed. Hydration, massively important, okay? When you get tired, um, uh, you're gonna, you know, when you get dehydrated, you get tired. And what happens is, is that the, um, your blood volume decreases when you're sort of uh, dehydrated, which means your body works a lot harder to push the nutrients around your body. And when, they, and when that happens, you kind of feel sluggish, you feel fatigued. So when you're hydrated, drinking lots of water, your body is more, um, is more efficient, it works more optimally, and therefore you feel more energized. Does it happen overnight? Of course it doesn't. You know, you need all the other factors need to come in, like you need to get good sleep and everything else. But over time, it certainly makes a difference for me. Um, and, and I know it will for you. So I have a really have a big uh, chug of water, or jug of water, sip on it throughout the shift. Um, it's going to also make your toll a bit more, which means you're going to get a little bit of active active rest as well. Walk it up and down, keep you awake, all those good stuff. So uh, hydration super super important. And then snack better, the final one. Okay, I did a, a video on this, which I'll uh, link below about this one above down below wherever um, of how to snack properly and, and around my rules. Okay, my um, snacking rules and you might read lots of um, blogs and local research and they'll tell you to eat you know veggies and blah 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 all that sort of stuff and that's all good you know absolutely solid advice but it doesn't always work out like that as you know when you're tired and anything else you kind of struggle so snack better 200 p plus one it's not a super complicated maths equation just made it up not really but um, basically snack at 200 calories whatever snack you pick limited to 200 calories therefore you can have a piece of a donut a piece of cake whatever it is that, that's going on in your night shift or your shift work um and then uh, and then once you get your 200 calorie snack sorted out you can go for the other one which is protein plus one so have make sure that snack is protein and plus one so the plus one could be something like a piece of fruit or some nuts a piece of that cake make sure you have protein with it okay 200 calories must be have protein and a plus one and while I do I link that uh, snack in blog to this one as well? You can download that, have a look at that one. There's a cool guide in there as well. So, um, yep, that's my seven step of seven uh, healthy tips for night shift.
Um, there's going to be a download below, okay? It's, it's a seven-step um, uh, cheat sheet for shift workers, essentially. And it'll cover off a bunch of cool stuff. There's going to be um, some, uh, like a, it's a bit, of a, a bit of a master kit, really. You get um, some information on your hunger hormones, really important to know. You get 30, 200-calorie snack, kind of fit in this, um, this, uh, this rule here. Um, you get um, how I plan my day. I show you how I plan my day. I walk you through it step by step. And a couple of other cool stuff as well. It's going to be down below. So click on it down below. Get get, uh, get downloaded. If you jump my email list, I'm going to send you some really, really cool um, cool tips and tricks to survive in night shift. Um, like I said, it's a shift worker fit master plan. Okay, We're going to get you fit and healthy regardless of working shift. Because let's see if I can do it and you can do it. So subscribe down below if you're watching this on YouTube. Click the bell button. Make sure you get all my, uh, my notifications. And start afresh because if you don't make a change today, how will tomorrow be any different? Cheers, guys.